So hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray. I'm a tech enthusiast and a Fiverr freelancer. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon as well so that anytime I release a new video, you would be updated instantly. So one of the most exciting features on iOS 15 for me will be in the Safari browser. I love the overhaul. I love how the icons, the user interface and everything in the Safari browser looks. But one of the most impressive features in my opinion is the inclusion of tab groups. Tab groups is something I've already seen and experienced on Chrome. Now these are two different companies and it's kind of very interesting that uh, they both have this feature. However, they took different approaches. So I'll be talking about these two approaches in the video. And in the comment section, you can let me know which you prefer. So I'm going to start off with the Chrome browser. If you actually want to, you know, create tab groups, it's pretty much easy. Uh, but the thing is that you, you wouldn't know um, right there and then, you know, unless it's something you've seen. Like, for example, you watch this video, you go into your Chrome browser, then you would know what to do. But uh, right off the bat, if you don't have anything opened, nothing can you can't see anything that says hey you can you know create a tab group but it's pretty easy to create a tab group in chrome so for example i'm going to open three uh websites so cnn bbc and then al jazeera so cnn.com and then i'm going to open bbc.com and then finally i'm going to open Al Jazeera. Yeah, so so I have these three uh, websites opened, and if you want to create a tab group in Chrome, all you need to do is long press one of them and drag onto another. So it's just like uh, what do you call it? It's just like creating a folder on an Android device on your home screen. It's pretty much the same thing. So you hold long press drag and then you just leave and then it kind of stays in it and becomes a group basically so once you tap into it you can see all the tab or all the web pages you've opened in that particular group and if you do want to close uh, a group you can close it all together or you can close it individually by swiping to the left if you want to add on chrome you see a plus sign at the top right you can click that and then you can you know create a new web page that is going to exist in that particular group which is nice now i'm going to put a stop there and then we're going to go to the safari browser and see how apple does it in ios 15 at least in ios 15 beta so we're going to open safari and anytime you open safari you'll see a starts page and so let me just open the three uh, news websites. So CNN, and then I'm gonna open uh, BBC. And then finally, I'm gonna open Al Jazeera. So now that we have all these uh, web pages opened, if we want to create a tab group, it is not as easy as it is on Chrome. You can't long press and then drag. However, what you can do is tap the middle portion. So you click that and then you see new tab group from three tabs at the bottom. So once you click that, it asks you to give a tab a group name. So I'm going to call it news, news 360. And once you click OK, it forms that particular group. So now anytime you click news 360, you would see that you have that, um, you have the, the group of web pages you open in that particular group. Now, one thing I like about uh, the Safari browser is that you can actually swipe at the bottom to access the pages, right? So you can just swipe, you see Al Jazeera swipe, BBC swipe, CNN. So it's so simple and, uh, Chrome has a similar and even better way of doing it as well. So with the Chrome browser, 
you can also swipe on the top because the 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 address bar is situated at the top of the chrome app you can swipe to have access to your web pages uh, another option is that if you look at the bottom you would see small icons of these web pages so i think it's their logos you can tap that to switch between uh, the web pages which i think is very nice but um safari has the option of swiping on the address bar which i think is pretty cool now finally i appreciate the fact that on safari you can actually name your groups so if you have four different tab groups and one is for design one is for news one is for food and one is for health it's easy to know which is which and you can easily get access to them however in chrome on android you don't have that so what you actually have is the number of tabs you've opened per group so if you op if you opened uh, three um news web pages instead of giving you the option to name that group news you just see three tabs which to me is not really user friendly because for example if you have a ton of tab groups and you want to quickly jump into one you'd have to manually look through to know which you want to have access to however with safari you have the names so once you tap the middle portion you'd see all the groups you've opened and you can quickly click and have easy access to those so um ideally i think uh chrome does have a bit of work to do i love the fact that you can just long press and drag to create groups but i do think giving us the option to name those groups will be fine for safari i think if they also you know are able to implement a way where you can kind of drag and drop because uh you know safari or, or ios has the folder structure you can long press and drag uh, an app onto another app to form a group so it would be nice to have something similar with the safari browser in ios 15 and i think it's going to make you know creating groups very easy so there you have it let me know your thoughts about their implementations down in the comment section below i go by the name Sodge gray if you did enjoy this video please help the channel by giving this video a thumbs up a like gives uh the channel more you know chance to appear on search or appear on other people's youtube feed so i would really appreciate if you give the the video a like i go by the name Sodge gray and i will catch you in another one peace out